Hello, sweet friends. How are ya? I am so good today. I think the lighting is a little strange because I am, it's very bright outside and I have these nice windows in my house. But um, anyway, thanks for joining me today. I have a request for my husband. He said, Annie, will, will you make that Fiesta taco soup? And so I said, absolutely. So I started to put my little liner on my crock pot and I realized maybe I should do this and show you guys again how to do it. So it's just, um, you guys know I love them and they're perfect at this time of the year because we're all using our crock pot. But these slow cooker liners are so awesome because they make your cleanup so easy. So you just, this is the bag and you just stick it in. All right, so this Fiesta Taco Soup is one of Daryl's favorites. He loves it so much, and you can find it in my sweet little cookbook, and it is on page 12 right here. What I love so much about this is it's basically you just open up a lot of cans and you dump it in. So I've put my crock pot on high, and I'm gonna cook this for about six hours today. Um, but first, you just need a pound of ground beef, and I have already cooked it. And I know a lot of people have different opinions about whether you should like take the fat off of your meat or not. And I always just put it in a strainer after I cook it and I run hot water over the top of it just because I like to get all the fat out. But that's just up to you. You can decide what you wanna do. All right, so one pound of your ground beef cooked and then you just need one can of pinto beans. And you're gonna, you don't drain any of this. Okay, and then you need a can of kidney beans. And it doesn't matter if they're light red or dark red. And then you need a can of black beans. And you can see, I will use all the different, you know, I try to find usually the Walmart or Publix brand. And um, if they don't have that, then I just buy the next brand. All right, and then you need um, two cans of kernel corn, and these are drained. two cans of stewed tomatoes. You're just gonna dump these in. I'm using my great little spatula. And so you need two cans of this. And one can of Rotel. And I know so there are some of you who say you don't know what Rotel is, and it is just diced tomatoes and green chilies. And you put this in, and as you can see, it makes a really nice big pot of soup. And then you add to it an envelope of taco seasoning. then an envelope of the Hidden Valley Ranch Fiesta Dips. Now, if you can't find it, because sometimes you can find the Fiesta Dip and sometimes you can't. Actually, Daryl ran to the store and he couldn't find it. And so we're gonna use this Rancho Taco. And the Fiesta Dip is just more of the spicy. It's got a little bit more flavor into it, in it. But if you don't want it spicy, just add just the ranch, just regular, okay? Always still so good, all right? So then we're just gonna dump this in and mix this up. Can you see? I'm kind of hoping that this new camera angle, you guys can see better. 
And my recipe in the cookbook actually calls for two cups of water. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add those two cups of water. I forgot to get that out. And the directions in the cookbook actually teach you how to do it like on your stove top. So if you want this to be faster, if you don't want it to go in your crock pot, you can do it on your stove top. Just put everything in a pot, bring it to a boil, and then you're just gonna simmer it for about an hour. Let me see if that, yeah. But since Daryl and I, we actually are gonna go to the, um, the office today. We've got some finishing touches there um, to do. And so, and then we're going to our little grandson Luke's basketball game. So I just thought, you know what, I'm just going to put it in the crock pot and it'll be ready when we get home later on tonight. So now you're just going to put the lid on it and let it cook for six hours. All right, everyone, I will be back soon. Hey, so Daryl and I are back. We went to our little sweet grandson's basketball game and that was super fun. And then we stopped by the office and we've had just quite a few orders today, which is awesome. So we bagged up some cookbooks and uh, just did a little work there. And now we're back and we came home to this wonderful, pot of Fiesta taco soup. And it's just so delicious. Um, oh my gosh, it smells amazing. And um, I knew it was gonna be super hot. And so I set aside just a little bit. But um, so it just looks so delicious. And now I'm gonna try it. Mm. Oh wow, that is so good. Add a little sour cream and maybe some grated cheese on the top and a little bit of green onion. That'll be so good. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. And um, if you are enjoying my videos, please like and share this with your friends and your family. Um, also, always remember that you can do hard things and I will see you next time. Take care, everyone.